Tony D and Little Joan with your screenwriter's rant on what you wish for. A thriller movie about a guy who assumes the identity of his friend and uh, gets in over his head. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. The links are in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 14, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I don't want to give away the surprise. Um, real quick announcement. Uh, the event tomorrow, Saturday, at Indian Acre Farms has been postponed to Sunday because we're supposed to get a little rain in the morning until about 10, and they didn't want to they didn't want to have people setting up in the rain or getting wet early. And Sunday looks very clear. I don't know. I don't even think it's going to rain, quite frankly. But they made the call. And I respect that. I, I'm glad they made the call early enough so I know. So no uh, event Saturday. The event is pushed to Sunday. I'll still be doing a live stream on time because the event is still from 8 to 2 p.m. And then uh, so I'll have, I'll have plenty of time, doggy. Plenty of time to get home and make you dinner. Make you dinner. Yum, yum. All right. Anyhow, let's get into this movie. What you wish for. So, this guy is a sous chef who goes to Latin America to visit his friend because he's got a bit of a gambling debt. And he's trying to get work. His friend, I think, is also a chef. And uh, he's got some sort of great gig. And it's mysterious. But then he gets up one morning and finds him uh, dead. Committed suicide. So, uh, he doesn't really know why. So he decides instead to assume his identity. So he gets rid of the body and takes over his identity, takes over his job and, uh, uh, uses his chef skills to serve a bunch of people. However, he's in over his head because the woman tells him, you understand, of course, that if you, uh, do a poor job at this meal, we'll kill you. And he's like, well, yes, of course I understand that. So it's, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if he's serving other people or if it's just a meeting of like criminals. So it doesn't really say. Uh, but once there, you're in, there's no way out. And they even, uh, there's even a scene where they inject something in his neck. I don't know, to track him or whatever. So it's a bit, a lot of weird stuff going on. Uh, written and directed by Nicholas Tomney. Uh, do I recognize any of the actors? No. No. Um, but it looks interesting. It's from Magnet Studios. And I think we had a date on this. Yeah, May 31st. Theaters and on digital. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. So for some reason he has to... He has to cook, and you can see he has to get rid of bodies. I don't know if he kills all the people, too. <laughs> maybe maybe that's part of it. He has to poison them. This guy tells him, I guess he knows him, and he says, you understand, if they figure out who you are, you're dead. So there's a lot riding on this dinner for rich people. So I guess he's going to do it, and then that's it. Um, so, yeah. Kind of a messed up movie, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the premise because it's sort of very random. It's it, it reminds me a lot of like almost like a Tales from the Crypt type movie uh, or a, or a story, a Twilight Zone story, because you have a main character. He's got gambling problems, according to the write up. Um, he's a chef, and he just sort of falls into this. Like he doesn't. He's not a nefarious guy. He just kind of falls into it. He's in a desperate situation. His friend kills himself. And he probably has no idea why. He just thinks, well, my friend must have been depressed or whatever. Kills himself. Leaves him, essentially leaves him this opportunity to take his place. And he does, but without realizing just how bad this is. So, um, first act, he goes, he visits his friend. Tells him about his troubles. Figures maybe he'll get a job somewhere. And maybe his friend will help him. His friend seems normal enough. Uh, wakes up 
the next morning and uh, finds him hanging. Finds him hanging. Um, there he is. Gets up, uh, decides, well, he's dead. Nobody else knows where he is. We're out in the middle of nowhere. So he ditches his body. He hides it and takes his place. Next day, the woman shows up for the event that his friend alluded to. He's a chef. They were both chefs, so he's going to do this meal, serve him a bunch of food, and make a ton of money. Uh, so he thinks. So, uh, but some caveats. I, I don't know. Th this thing. I don't know what this is. They inject him with something. Is it a tracking ship? Is it going to kill him uh, at the end? I don't know. He can't blow the meal or else they'll kill him. I know that. So, after that, it gets a little murky in the second act. Like, I'm not sure if he's serving up human beings <laughs> or he's killing people in order to keep his secret. I don't know. But it looks like it gets pretty bloody. And maybe he's forced to poison people. I, I don't know. But I'm kind of intrigued by the whole thing. And one of the things I like about it is I don't know the actors. Because I don't... So this could all... It could be sort of like a film noir thing where everybody's kind of a bad guy. Or it could be, you know, that maybe the main character's good or maybe somebody else is. I kind of want to see this. So here's the write-up. A down-on-his-luck chef with, a gambling pro with gambling problems flees to Latin America Villa where he assumes the identity of another man. It's a very sort of classic setup. I kind of like that aspect of it, too. And then it just gets weirder from there. And they're not giving anything away in the trailer, which I also like. Jeez, Jingles, do you mind? I'm trying to do the thing. I know. I, I have to make you wear all this crap because of the township. Um... So, yeah, what you wish for. I kind of think they could have come up with a better name, but I would say this. I would say this. I like uh, I like the pitch. You know, the execution's kind of up in the air, but it looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine, doggy. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D., and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for a more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. Don't forget, tomorrow, I the event has been postponed until Sunday. Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, look for me at the Indian Acres Farm in Medford, New Jersey, for the giant farm mall, they call it. 8 to 2. Hope to see you there. We'll see you.